It's your boy, skinny penis. Hello, people of the internet. We switched it there, right? In any case, we're going to, after suffering heavily in Venezia, we're going to prove a point, hopefully, now that Venezia is utter trash, useless for the team, and even worse than most of the other kite cruisers in terms of damage output. And we're going to play Venevsky again. I already did a very long, in depth replay review of two Nevsky games in a row and uh, you can also check this out so you get the full Nevsky coverage now we're going to play it uh, solo live too um, I mean I think the replays in the video were also solo but in general it's just the best kite cruiser for solo gameplay because it has everything it has great AP um, it has good HE DPM the big part about both of that is like both ammo types is you can hit them super easily at any range because the rail guns are disgusting on that thing um, you have a radar, you have a hydro if you choose to take one. I'm not running hydro in randoms sometimes on Nevsky or, I mean, I guess it's fine, but I'd like to run the, the Def A so that, uh, let's say, less experienced or trash carrier players can't fucking permahump me because my air, air, de air detection is fairly large and, uh, yeah, therefore... And I'm a very fat and immaneuverable cruiser, so I kind of want to be safer in kite. Because I don't think the... The... What is it? The torpedo eating is much of a problem on Nevsky when you have a 12 cam radar and these kind of guns. You can keep the DDs away from you fairly easy. We already see the carrier goes for me. Hopefully he's not trying to perma -hump me now, to be honest. Uh, our, our Kagero is sadly AFK. I was already spotted, so I'm turning out here. Gonna reverse in. My battleships are also not moving behind me, so we're going to play this super slow. Just because our carrier isn't spotting this flank, neither is the Kagero going for it, so I don't want to lose all my HP. In this kind of matchmaking, I'm obviously one of the only tier 10s, so I kind of want to be alive for as long as possible to carry the game. Uh, it would be pretty pointless for me to run in and get gather information when my shitty Kagero or low tier BBs could also do it. And we're going to start farming, poor bitches. I think the carrier is very eager to fuck with me. We're going to radar just to check if the DD went closer in. Yep, there he is. It's the thing, man. You don't have stealth radar directly, but there's not much, uh, not much area like distance between your radar and uh, the enemy and, and your like your radar and your spotting range. So if DDs go for spotting in the beginning. They are mostly prone to run into your radar by accident anyways. This guy caught nose in. Sadly, no one else is shooting him. Also, he went nose in and stayed there. Now he's only turning flat, so I can't really kill him. Yeah, that's a bit on Lugo. Not gonna lie. Did some damage to him, though. So the next raider, when he tries to run it into me again, he's most likely going to... Okay, never mind, dude. Wait a minute. I mean, he should go dark, right? Yeah, he's only spotted for a few seconds there. We got the perma fire, as you can remember, we got a fire earlier, so this guy DCP'd. Uh, we can switch to AP here. Minnesota broadside, definitely very, very chunky AP hits possible. Uh, light cruiser moments might be happening, because I get sometimes like you could get six to seven k AP hits here. Look at the, look at the reload. Look at the arcs. Look at everything. You're just pumping damage way faster than something like a Venezia, while also keeping your team clean in terms of enemy destroyers, you're like cleaning the flank, they can't play into you really. Wait a minute, motherfucker doesn't have torp range, he was never 10-5 close, was he? Yeah, he was like, sometimes I doubt myself, sometimes I'm also wrong, but I was watching him, he was never 10-5 and I never went closer to that spot, so yeah, it was like, what the fuck? We will, by the way, it around in a second here when I mean, we're just obviously kiting because they pushed into us my team is even behind me like look at the battleships like they have a nevsky and a kagero for them <laughs> okay we have to help our kagero sheesh see and like it doesn't matter if i have a nevsky or a venezia here i can help my dds the same way probably even better than nevsky to be honest i'm going to gamer turn here already Uh, the Flander shot me. He's probably gonna end up getting like a triple sit or something from what I know. Huh? 
He only had one torpedo set. No, that's the second one. Okay. Is he torping the cag out? Yeah. But we have a radar, so we're going to continue like this to keep him more inside of radar, turning our back turrets. And when our back turrets are nearly turned, we're going to radar him. Search reverse on the ship isn't bad. And as you can see on the minimap, after I kill this guy, I can probably go dark against the Flounder because he turned out. Yeah, we're going to try and get the... He d he sent both torp sets on the Kagero, keep that in mind. So there's no risk for us that he sends another torp set soon. He also just DCP'd for whatever reason. So fires will be perma. That obviously makes it a bit easier to kill him here in case we get one. Uh, Flounder came back into us. That's a bummer. Ah, oh, this guy is just making himself super hard to hit. Well, someone else got a hit, finally. Like, my team's really, really trying to not shoot that Fletcher. Oh my god, but fire should be still perma for a bit. I killed him blind, okay fine. That's GG's. Um, finally the destroyer is out. The problem is just the Flounder decided for some reason to turn back in same time. So now I'm between Flandre, I have to angle him. And some BBs in the mid while the carrier is dropping me. So we're looking hella sus here. I'm not gonna lie, hella sus. Can maybe switch to AP the moment he's on a double fire. I would really like my battleship behind me to actually help me out here. This is kind of retarded to play alone. He DCP'd now the double fire. Probably like Flounder main gun power isn't that strong, so I'm probably going to get to my next heal. He's trying to push it into secondary range, I think. I mean, I never expected this idiot to turn back in. That's the reason why I'm caught here. Like, battleships per much. Like, how does he do so much damage, man? I know my side plating is overmatchable by him, but that much damage is kinda sus. I won't kill him alone, but my two battleships behind me are doing zero damage, so we're looking kinda shit here. I'm going to angle better in for the next, uh. for the next reload. Then again, I'm fucking stuck in between the carrier who's also going for me. I mean, come on, dude. Can't be serious. Please tell me the torpedo hits at least. Come on, come on, please. Yep. Yeah. We're waiting until he shoots to then uh, DCP the fire. <laughs> Breast from base is shooting me too. My battleship's behind me, I apparently turbo AFK. It's very cool. Insta fire one shell from the breast. You gotta be shitting me here, dude. You gotta be fucking joking, man. Got a heal out. I think he DCP'd again, right? No, the fires just ran out, I think. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, we have to nose tank reverse this shit. I got called nose in. Never expected this motherfucker to actually turn it like that. Finally, the the, the, the fucking Flounder is suffering through shitty dispersion. Because normally his ship doesn't offer great dispersion at all. Also, my team is finally charming in with some damage. On their own. Yeah, there he goes, he dies. He got some pen with the last shot, but he doesn't get his front turrets out again. That is important for me. And the breast somehow lost interest on me, and the carrier came with torpedoes, which are not the biggest threat for me. So actually, we lived through that. You had to be, like, patient there. There's no reason to gamer turn. Gamer turn wouldn't save you there. Can I find a gap here, is the question. No, oh, I will eat that. No, I actually didn't arm. Okay, lucky. Lucky me. We're going to get to the next heal, most likely too, because the strike path from the carrier is from, from my 1-2-3 line as well, so he's right in front of us. Here you can see 16 km kiting cruiser, you can still hit consistently, if my dispersion wouldn't fucking screw me over here. But he's 30mm armor cruiser, so I can pen him also. Just makes it super disgusting to range trade with Nevsky in general. Do I have lock-on? Or is this like no lock-on crap dispersion? It was no lock on shit this version. And we won. Well, I could have healed, I could have gone for the carry, I think I even make it there. We're only ending up with 140. But we had a little funny engagement with the with the what was it, Flandre. But as you could already see, like uh Defe paid off a bit at least. I mitigated a bit of the damage. Obviously other carries would have been better in general, like the Nakim of just ignores too much of your AA. 
Uh, even though you have 6.8 on Nevsky, it's like improved AA range. The Russians get a different treatment, kind of. You can see the carrier mostly went for me, because he's a cum guzzler. Um, yeah, and you could also see that there was a... Uh, it's a way more high impact cruiser, like you have higher impact in overall just because you can deal with destroyers yourself. Um, there's something other cruisers that AFK kite can't. Um, yeah, you have drawbacks sometimes on the DPM or the gun penetration, but the radar is just too valuable. Um, also the range effectiveness, to be honest, is greater than like any other cruiser. Um, normal cruiser spec, nothing to do. Like uh, By the way, IFG is way worse than... Uh, um, no IFHE on Nevsky, like you should never run it. Um, it actually fucks with your damage super hard since you really go through the fires on that cruiser. Um, yeah, normal spec here. Normal spec here. Range Nevsky would be kinda cringe. We keep the Def A, as you can see, or as you just saw, there was a carrier. I hate carriers, and uh, when you're like in kite with your Nevsky, torpedoes aren't really your issue. You can just radar the DD, you can you zone them anyways. So there's like 20 cam shimmer torps, you spot them as if you have Hydra anyway, kind of, so they're not a problem. Uh, also, you should be mostly angled to all 20 fucking cam shimmer torp angles, really, like because they're sending it out of spawn turbo far away. The only thing that's really a bit of a problem is if your team gives up too much map control and like some something like a Haaland where a Dalarner goes onto your broadside and then randomly torps you. Like that's a bit weird because they have stealth torps theoretically there. Like no, not stealth torps but they can torp outside of your radar range so you uh, you could get a problem there. Other than that, I mean not really a torpedo issue on that thing. Also Nevsky doesn't really do well while pushing into people, you only push when the enemy is completely running away or it's like at the end of the game and you're just trying to get as much damage out of the remaining enemies. Yeah. It's 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 decent at, at going close in the sense that if you make it with a large amount of HP, you obviously get five torpedoes per side. So that's a great advantage over other cruisers. Other than that, um, yeah, you like if you want to use, for example, back turrets close up, you're giving some cruises or most cruises even citadel angle as you can see if I would shoot a cruiser here he could sit me under the front turrets like the Moines, Salem's even uh, like Stalin, Petro they just smash you then and even other ships can penetrate you easily so yeah it's 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 a ranged kiter it's the same thing as a Venezia it's the same thing as a Goliath it's uh, the same thing as a Hindenburg or a Henry um, the problem is just with all these other cruises, they don't have the 12km while you do get it. And you do get these fucking stupid railguns that hit destroyers out at 12km too. So you're even more effective against DDs. Even if you don't radar them yourself, you can do more damage to destroyers. Just because uh the nature of the guns, the arcs, the shell trouble time. Like max range is 10 seconds, by the way. That's 19km. Yodo at 18 km is 15 seconds. That's 50% more travel time. Oh, shitty float arcs. That's kind of how light Nevsky is apparently. It's also why the, the reason why it's being played in every single competitive mode. And it's the go-to smoked cruiser. Um, but because you, you can just be so effective at range and you zone the DDs hard and also you counter radar the enemy smoke. Um, you could never play like a a 10km radar into Nevsky really one to one because you're never going to survive that. We're going to shoot the submarine as long as he's on the surface. And then we're going to kill the Shema because he's running it deep into my radar range, nose in. He's going for the submarine apparently. I don't know why he even smokes, he doesn't even slow down. Hm. Paid actors, eh? Having the the funny shimmer, yeah, sure. Like you, you you're going to live this, huh? You're just going to smoke up, huh? Yeah. Good choice. Very good choice. Smart. Very smart. Very smart. Hi uh, guys, what do you think? That was that was smart. Yeah, sadly, not much to really say about that. Then again, as you can see, I'm the radar here. Like, if I were a Venezia in this position, I wouldn't have been able to radar that. Have I homed them into the rock? Yeah, I think I did. I have to kind of sit here to keep the submarine in between me and the rock. I didn't get a flank spawn, otherwise I would be sitting here. 
in kite. Then again, I wouldn't have been able to kill the shimmer since he took the inside. Kinda, kinda wicked gameplay from the shimmer because I also was spotted. Like he could have either died over behind the island or turned out immediately. No, he, he just for some reason wanted to get above that submarine, I believe, and fuck with him. I don't know, man. Thankfully, our submarine and Harugumo are obviously ensuring that these enemy BBs are spotted. Surely our Harugumo isn't trying to do nothing. They're fucking camping in the same shitty square all together. Isn't that epic? Ugh, the Dalarner is spotting me. It's not the submarine. It was like the submarine surfaced, but no, it wasn't. Well, something is shooting me from there. I don't know what it is. Salem, huh? Salem, huh? Don't really know what to do here. Depends really on where the battleships are going to push. Gotta, gotta regroup my brain a bit. Ah, the Satsuma is coming back. Okay. Well, there's some, some Salem or Minnow towards the middle, but I think it were Salem shells. Oh, we forgot to blacklist the... Marines. So if like more people or like if less people would play these fucking useless bot cruiser Venezia sh fucking Yinan Clausewitz this fucking trash and play more utility orientated cruisers then yeah <laughs> it would be a bit harder to play the game for sure but I would also not be against it to be honest because kind of like, why do I have to play with Venezias all the time, man? I also don't think it's fair to put uh, uneven raiders inside of the teams. Not a big fan of that one. I, like, There are just too many situations where the enemy DD can fight you for free while you're stuck with some fucking useless Ven <coughs> that doesn't do anything. So yeah, if the, if the Ven doesn't do anything in terms of like utility, and you're the DD for example, you have to run a har hard hard risk to lose HP just to get spots in and then on top of that the Venezia needs to be ready and have a brain so there's so many ifs and whats and whens uh, normally just ends up well enemy DD has radar cover you cannot go for him because you can't disengage really but he can sit in a smoke and mitigate the incoming damage I love my teammates here bro it's a really epic gameplay Finally, we got to shoot something, I guess. Already wondering what these BBs are going to do. Most likely camp until the game is over, huh? Ah, you can see it's super nice farming. 18 kilometers, fucking real gun. Bullshit. You could even run it with range mod and still hit some things, though you're kinda cringe for running range mod. No, you gotta run. Gotta run behind him. But I can use my Ohio as some sort of bait. The left side seems to be ignoring me. Only one person aiming for me. He's probably was a cruiser. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Can't really shoot that guy. He's still behind the island. Hello. Can I log on? No. We're gaming. Got the perma fire. Ah, uh, that is a fire prevention one, I think. Eesh. Gotta be careful here. That submarine doesn't randomly fuck me over. We can try AP here, kinda. He's getting torpedoed by the sub. He just doesn't want to give me damage. Yeah, you have been flooded, sir. You have also been kinda one-shot. Do the Yinon Torps have range? Probably. It was pretty close. Nope, they barely don't. But he's flooding and burning. He's been very chillin' in his Satsuma. Real bummer if you play Battleship and your Shimakaza plays like this, without a brain, without intelligence. Ah yeah, by the way, uh, Nevsky gets even weirder depth charges. I shoot them out to the front. They're not like ship-based uh, ass depth charges like Hindenburg and, uh, Hindenburg and Ven that are already bad. But at least I can radar the submarine underwater and force him underwater, kind of. And I could also sp splot Hydro, so you're not like that bad against these motherfuckers. I DCP'd and heal, so we need a perma fire. Gotta be careful about the submarine. Interesting that my Yinon is actually doing what he's currently doing. 
Looks... Ah, sure. The Yinan gets the fire. Thank you very much. But that Yinan is kind of gaming, not gonna lie. He's probably gonna hit Torps on the GK too. Ruining my average in Nevsky on purpose for a video. We can just stay here. You can see, but now I'm going to move because the Dalarner most likely sent Torps our way. It's a very, very, very likely scenario here. But we're cleaning Olja. It's like you're on timer there, just because the Dalarner has a torpedo angle. You can stay for a bit. Because, uh, like, when I went there, I saw the Dalarner Torps pass me for the battleship. There's some sort of reload and then travel time again. Okay. We are going to not get that kill on it, right? Because the board gone steals it. Isn't that great? Nice! We're having problems with the submarine again. That's actually a big time issue here. I'm not going to keep pushing. I'm going to turn my guns to the right, then go in front of the rock just because I don't want to lose too much time going towards middle. But... But... Wait a minute, what? Why is he surfacing? That's fucking stupid. Yeah, but you can see Raider is super effective against submarines, kick W. I can force him to dive, but and use his uh, diving capacity more, but I can't like ensure perma spot on him. There were two Dalarners. There was one Dalarner set just now, so he maximum has one cent by now. I'm cheesing, like I'm chancing it on going in front of the rock because I want to get the rock in between me and the submarine torpedoes as fast as possible, dude. The sub is a big time fucking issue. I couldn't get a perma there, sadly. Yeah, there it goes. He didn't even torp for the turn out yet. Got some shitty, shitty module damage, but doesn't really matter. I'm going to turn away. This thing blocks me against Dolana torps now. That motherfucker, I don't know. I mean, you can't push in an Ohio into that because you don't have the ASW range. Ohio is like. Was it 8km? Nah, 6km. It's super bad. It's like worse than cruisers. The way to balance these ships. Surely we needed to balance Hindenburg and Venezia through giving them useless ASW. Surely, huh? Look, I can pretend to use my ASW. By the way, if you catch a submarine with these things, you still don't really kill it. <laughs> they do zero damage, kind of. So, yeah, I am running away from that. He squeezed the torpedoes through here a bit. Look at that, look at that. I don't know if it's the Lulana or the car cruiser in the middle spotting me. That would be a very intriguing question. I can stick here. Uh, stay here. No, it's, I think the Lulana spotted me like here somewhere. Mm, we have a Lulana that at least keeps Seaside spotted. Our income. Yeah, that just happened. My super DD. My super destroyer died to Venezia Torps one shot. That is remarkable. It really is. Pop a radar. Oh, shit. Our. Ohio died to Dorlaner and Submarine. Who would have thought that not having a destroyer here... How the fuck did our Haru die in the first place, by the way? That would be the best question of the day. Make him go away, man. I, m I must make him go away. Before I go into permakite runaway mode again. I can keep A with my radar here, as you can see, and use the Burgon now to help him maybe kill someone pushing into him, but other than that... Very low chance. Oh, wait, wait. Incomparable caught the Minotaur. Venezia is pushing. Slowing down again. You can see a throw of the torpedoes. Kind of good. Not if one hits me. We're going to focus this guy because the Ohio goes behind the rock. Don't have perma, perma angles on him anyway. So we gotta get this Venezia. Venezia out of his. He just shot in the, the... What was that spotting delay, bruv? Like, seriously, bruv. Ooh, 
Ooh, the submarine is back. So good, so good. Borgon one shots him here. Ah, you what? Borgon does zero damage. Never mind. How broken is Venezia? Kind of thing. Yo, the submarine is here. That's show epic, man. Yeah, got a perma there, I think. Oh, we're DCPing this. Okay, boys, I'm going to use this rock to turn around and then hopefully catch Submarine and Dalarner. Um, by the way, there must be some AFK ship in the enemy team, no? No, right? No. 40 seconds on the radar. That's pretty fucking awful. Gated Ventorp, how broken is this Ventorping? Dude, that guy must be nuts. He already torped the fucking... 25 seconds. Will I be able to... Hey, come on, you killed that, right? Before he torps, right? My god, Jesus Christ, you're fucking awful in your Borg. Jesus. He has a 25mm nose, he's in your mouth. Now you're dying to shitty torpedoes, bro. Hey. Hello there, boys and girls in the fucking area. Horny submarines. They that is sus, dude. Ah, oh, he died to the torpedoes because he didn't one shot the villain. Does he sit at all? Knocks a turret though. Uh, okay. Well, I'm running a big little issue here. The Zeus Marine will just. It could be the first game where I kill a submarine with uh, Venezia to uh, with, with, with Nevsky depth charges. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, no. Not gonna happen. Oh, huh? oh he's one-shotting me, huh? Oh, actually he... Oh, I killed a submarine with the Nevsky depth charges. That's the first time that ever happened. That's a fucking premiere for me. And I played so much fucking Nevsky already. When submarines were released. That's the first time, bro. Oh my god. Do you see how hard I'm gaming? This is epic, dude. This is fucking epic. Yo. Wait a minute, what? No. Fuck off. I can use my AP here. Sadly, I I mean, I have to risk it to go perfect. Like, I can, I have to hope that he misses enough shells that I'm not dead. <laughs> Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. It's cruiser time. Hee hee. We play our funny base AFK Vermont. We're rotating for five minutes unspotted because they're so fucking slow. And then he, we found 30 millimeter cruiser who's already being griefed by sub. And shit and his team dying and then we can point and click him he we're so skilled in our battleship he we end up middle of the scoreboard he we're so funny ah uh, yeah he's a gamer man he's a gamer i'm not gonna say that oh i had the famous hurricane clan tier in my team finishing in the fucking dumpster in any case i'm kind of losing my mind here just because i'm repeatedly playing against apparently Giga cracked submarines. That was the submarine on my flank, right? There was only one submarine. Wow, okay. 48% sub, okay. Ends up as first with 2.5k base. I think that's pretty fair, fair assessment. Yeah, but um, we had a premiere here. I actually killed a sub with uh, Nevsky depth charges. It's kind of nuts, not gonna lie. It's kind of nuts. I, I got really lucky there that his torpedoes didn't fuse because that would have been insta-death. Um, fairly unlucky though that my Yinan and my Harugumo and my submarine on my flank didn't want to play the game and just kill themselves on purpose. But yeah, we end up with 160. Shatter is not the best map for Nevsky. The other side is way better, by the way, to play. This side is a bit wonky, but yeah. 160, I guess it's fine. Fucked with the destroyer, kept the cap, fucked with the submarine, and uh, yeah. At least I always had the feeling that I could have impact on the game. And I was really let down by my teams this game, just being bad, really bad. Other than that, um, I definitely could impact the game more than with them. Yeah, well, that's it for Nevsky. I'll see you for the next video. And maybe uh, try to kill a submarine with the Nevsky dev, Nevsky dev charges too, man. I, like, maybe try that too. Unless, if you're not doing it, you're not a pro, I guess. 
Anyway, see you soon.